In this tutorial, we'll look at opacity zero versus display none versus visibility hidden. Okay, so as an example, I have two boxes here, box one, which is the orange one, and box two, which is this uh, green yellow one. I've selected them here in the HTML, They're in, in the CSS, they both have a size of 200 by 200 pixels. Box one has this background color, the other one has this one color. Okay, now let's say that we want to hide this first box. We have three options in CSS, opacity, display none, and visibility hidden. And we're gonna start off with the weakest possible measure that you can take. And actually to, to demonstrate the differences even better, I'm also gonna add a cursor uh, effect here. So cursor pointer, what that will do is when you hover it, it will get that hand symbol, right? So now I'm gonna try to hide it. So the weakest option that you have is actually opacity zero. If I do that and refresh, it will indeed be invisible, right? But the other one does not shift upwards, right? So it's basically still acting as if that one exists. So it's still taking up space. And also when I hover here with my mouse, it's still it's still changing the uh, cursor into that hand symbol, right? So um, that's what you get with opacity zero. So it's basically still there, it's just invisible. So one stronger possible measure that you can take is visibility and set it to hidden. And actually let me go back to the default situation. Right, so this is what we have. Now we wanna hide this box so I can say visibility hidden. Let's see what we get. Okay, so now um, it's hidden and also it's still taking up space because this one is not moving upwards, right? So it's still acting as if that orange box exists. But now when I hover here with my mouse, it doesn't change, right? So with visibility hidden, it's a bit of a stronger measure because your mouse is basically not reacting to it or the cursor, I should say. Right. Okay, so then we have another option. The, the strongest possible measure that you can take is display none. So I can also say display none, right? So this is the default situation. Now I'm gonna refresh. And now you can see the other box actually moves upwards, right? Because now it's not taking up any space anymore, that orange box. So other elements will reposition themselves to take up that, that space that has now become available. And of course, we also don't have any cursor uh, change anymore, right? Now there's one other difference. Um, it has to do with transitions and animations and transitions. Right, so it's really important that you have mastered CSS. I have a whole course on CSS, so definitely check that out if you want to be a web developer or you're already one and you want to improve your CSS. Um, it's really important for front-end developers. It only takes a couple of hours. Definitely check out my course. The link's in the description. So this is what we have. Now, one benefit of Opacity, for example, is that you can animate it. So what we or, And also use transitions. So for example, what we can say is when we hover this box one, the opacity should be, um, let's say one, right? And in the default situation, maybe the opacity is something like 0 0.2, right? So what we get now is in the default situation here, it's a little bit uh, see-through, but when we hover it, it becomes one again, 100% opacity, right? And we can make that a transition to make it a bit smoother. So we can say transition, opacity should happen in 0 0.4 seconds, right? So any any change in the opacity should not happen immediately, but it should happen in 0 0.4 seconds. We can also say all, so any property that gets changed should happen in 0 0.4 seconds. So now when we hover it, you get a nice hover effect, right? So this is not possible with visibility hidden and display none, right? So with display none, for example, you, you, only, go, you only go from display block to display none. Right, so there's there's not really like an in-between step, so you can't really animate it. With opacity, there's like there's an in-between. It's, it's sort of a spectrum, right? So you can you can animate it. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.